Hi everybody and welcome to the Blue Sheep Party. In this one we're gonna take a look at the new podium vehicle which is the half track. And because we didn't have an update video yesterday, the first part of this one I'll be going over the new update Rockstar released yesterday, May 21st, 2020. If you're not interested in the update you can skip to this time where I'll be talking about the half track. But believe me, you wanna hear what the update is. So let's get started! And the first thing is, Rockstar is giving away $1 million to everybody who completes 10 daily challenges within the next week. This is something that Rockstar did back in April as well, and I made a video on it. So if you want to see how to complete all the daily challenges, make sure to click here. As for discounts go, the first vehicle that's on discount is the Trax. It's 40% off, so it's gonna set you back only $1.4 million. And if you're looking for an awesome all-wheel drive car, totally worth it. The next one on the discounted list is the Scramjet, and you can get it for 40% off as well and if you want to buy it it's gonna set you back 2.8 million dollars next up is the TM02 Kanjali it's a tank same deal 40% off you can get it now for 1.7 million dollars and the same can be said about the Akula it's 40% off as well and it's gonna set you back 1.8 million dollars if you want to buy it straight up and right next to it we have the Volator 40% off as well 1.8 million dollars this one's gonna set you back and if you're looking for something fun that you can cause mayhem with, the Ram Buggy is probably right up your alley. But before you think of buying it, make sure you cover all the requirements. Next up, we have the Mammoth Patriot Stretch. And I genuinely don't understand the appeal of this car. But if this is something that you want to own, you can get it now for $300,000. Other discounts include hangers and hanger upgrades. They're both 50% off at the moment, so if you're in the market for either a hanger or a hanger upgrade, make sure you take advantage of this. And last but not least, the Galaxy Super Yachts are on sale. You can buy them right now for 40% off, but 40% off is still a lot of money. The base price is $3.6 million. And keep in mind that the 40% discount does not extend to the customization options. So if you want to customize your yacht, you're going to be paying a lot of money. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can do the stockpile activities for double cash and RP. And if you're feeling really, really adventurous, you can do the hunting pack remix for triple cash and RP. And also the fireworks launcher makes a triumphant return. And speaking about things that are triumphant, if we look below the fireworks show, we see something cool. And what that is, is this piece of awesomeness, which is the half track. And it's this week's podium vehicle. And if you're looking for a way to get it for free, make sure you follow this guide where I show you exactly how to do it with joystick in hand. Now, what can I say about the half track that hasn't already been said? It's half a truck and half a snowmobile tank thingy. And I'm a really big fan of the machine gun that's mounted in the truck bed. Honestly, it's an amazing piece of machinery. Looking at this tank, there's only one thing I wanna do. I wanna climb on the back of it. I wanna mount the machine gun and I want to start shouting, say hello to my little friend, but we'll leave that for later. For now, let's just get in and see how it drives. How would you rate this truck between one and 10? Leave a comment down below. I gotta say the sound it makes is kind of cool, but as I took off, I immediately realized it wasn't gonna be a very good experience. First thing I want to say about the quote unquote truck is that it should have been called the half tank because it does move like a tank it feels like a tank gps on that's better as i was saying it barely has power to move itself it's so clumsy and clunky and difficult to drive it has the turning radius of a battleship and you're being witness to my attempt at a burnout yep this truck cannot do a burnout at least it can do it while it's stuck Maybe after upgrading it, the performance is gonna get at least somewhat decent. And after a very, very, very long trek, we're finally at Los Santos Customs, where you can see how horrible the turning radius of this vehicle is. Oh, uh, well, that's a giant disappointment. But let's see how much the Avengers and the MOC cost. What? Oh, well. I guess we're going barebone without any upgrades. There is no way I'm gonna spend three and a half million dollars on an Avenger or even 1.2 million dollars on a mobile operations center. So let's do the only logical thing here. Fireworks. Hmm. The half track kind of looks like a dumpster fire. How appropriate. And that's gonna bring an end to the quote unquote review. 
but not to the video. Because I want to let you know about something that I'll be doing for the next week. I'm starting a new video series in which every single day I'm gonna be winning the podium vehicle in one continuous uninterrupted piece of gameplay from start to finish. So you can see yourself that it's actually possible to win it in your first try. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you've liked the video, please make sure you actually like it. And if you want to support the channel, please make sure you subscribe. If you want to tell your friends about it, you're more than welcome to the more the merrier. Share it with them. And with all that said, I'll catch you in the next one.